and the humble shall hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. I said, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Can we just worship God in this place? Mary says, my soul just magnifies the Lord and my spirit praises his name. The song says, even death could not hold him captive. Even in the grave, he is Lord. Can we lift up Jesus this day? He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that he is the Lord this day. Hallelujah. We lift up your name, God, with our hearts filled with praise. We exalt you, O Lord, our God. Hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna Hallelujah. in the Hallelujah. highest. Hallelujah. We are singing praises to our God in this Hallelujah. atmosphere. Hallelujah. We don't Hallelujah. worry when Hallelujah. things go wrong. Jesus fills our heart with a song this day. Oh, we worship you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, God. Oh, we magnify you. We sing praises to your name. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. Can we worship God in this place? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Baba. We worship you, Father. Oh, for waking us up this morning and sending us on our way. For this, I give you praise, God. Oh, I just need a for this, for this worship in this place. For this, I give you praise, God. For this, I give you praise, God. For this, I give you praise. I am standing here only because he kept me this day. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Wherever I go, I'll praise him. Wherever I am, I'm going to praise him. Come on, church. For his love surrounds me like a sea. I'm going to lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name Somebody of Jesus. Somebody help me lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name. For the name of, of Jesus, Jesus lifted, me. lifted me. Can I sing that one more time? I said, wherever I go. Oh, I don't hear the church. I'm going to praise him. I am, Wherever I am, I'll, I'll praise pray. him. For, for his, his love, love, his love, his love surrounds me like a sea. Yeah. Somebody lift up the name of Jesus. Just lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, the name of Jesus lifted me. Wherever I go, I'll praise him. Wherever I am, I'll praise him for his love. Surrounds me like a sea. Somebody just lift up God. Praise God, you'll hear that name. If the name of Jesus lifted you this day, come on, wherever I go, wherever I go, I'll praise him. Wherever I am, I'll praise him for his love. Love surrounds me like a sea. Somebody, I will lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus lifted me wherever, wherever. It's a good thing to praise the Lord. It's pleasant, it's fitting, it's pleasing this day. His love surrounds us. Oh, just lift up the name. I will lift up the name of Jesus. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him in the highest heaven. Oh, wherever, wherever we go, let everything that has breath, I'm going to sing, I'm going to shout, I'm going to let it out. Love surrounds me like a sea. I will lift up the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus for the name of Jesus. One more time. Wherever I go this day, I'm going to speak of the goodness of God. I'm going to sing of the goodness of God all around. Everywhere I look, his love is all around. Somebody lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. Come on, let's worship him. Lift Jesus higher, a little higher. Lift him up for the world to see. He said, he said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw men on to lift Jesus higher, a little higher. Oh, lift him up this day. Anybody need the drawing anointing? He said if I, he said if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw men on to lift Jesus higher, a little higher. Oh, lift him up this day, church. Lift him up. We place you high, God, high above the world this day. Oh, God, we lift you up. From this From earth, the earth I will draw Oh, one more time, one more time Lift Jesus higher Lift Jesus higher A little higher Lift him up Lift him up All the world to see He said if I
lift up Jesus. Somebody lift up Jesus. Somebody lift up Jesus. Somebody lift up Jesus. Oh, hail King Jesus. Oh, hail Emmanuel this day. You are worthy, God. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, God, let all the other names fade away, God. Till there's only you, mighty God. Yes, God, we worship you. Let our King be lifted up. Let our King be lifted up. Let our King be lifted up. Oh, Santa. Can we chant that?
release your worship in this atmosphere. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Oh, come on, give God praise in this room. She oh, yeah. Come on, sing to worship you while I leave everybody declare to worship you. To worship you while I live. To worship you. To worship you while I live. I live. I live to worship you. To worship you while I live. To worship you, I live. I live, I live. To worship you. Now open your mouth and make that declaration of this room. To you, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh come on, open your mouth and say it. Oh, Open your mouth in this room and give the sound. Release a certain sound in this room. Zion has a particular sound. The church of God has a particular sound. The world does not have the sound that the church has. I want you to open up your mouth in this room and begin to release a certain sound in this room. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Out of your belly shall flow a certain kind of sound. It's a sound of deliverance. It is a sound of breakthrough. It is a sound of healing. It is a sound. Come on, open your mouth and shout. Somebody open your mouth and shout in this atmosphere. Release that sound. Release that sound. It is a sound of triumph. It is a sound of victory. It's a sound that brings Jericho to its knees. It's a sound that shut down your mouth. It's a sound that shut up the den. Open up your mouth and this room begin to release a certain sound. Release a certain sound. Release a certain sound. My sound shall blind the enemy. My sound shall shut up the enemy. Open up your mouth and release a sound. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, say, say, say. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
Somebody open your mouth and shout hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Do I have anybody in this room that can open up your mouth despite everything that you're going through and give God a praise. Give God a praise. Throw your hands up in the air and begin to worship him. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, the one that made the heavens and the earth. I just need two people in this room to lift up a praise in this room. Your praise shall blind the force of the enemy. Open up your mouth and shout, yes. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence, it is heaven to me. Come on, come on, come on, say it. Your presence is heaven. It is heaven. Everybody's to me, to me, to me. Open your mouth and hear and say, Your presence is heaven to me. Your your hands and cry oh Jesus everybody open your mouth in this room everybody say oh Jesus oh Jesus Come on, come on. Be your present. One more time. Say it again. Say it. Oh, Everybody say it. Oh, your present. Your present. Be your present. Say it again. Be your present. Your present. Your presence Wherever you go God I will go And where you lodge I will lodge Lift your hands in this room As we prepare for the man of God The children of Israel told the Lord if you go before us, God, we will go. Pillar of cloud by day, God, and fire by night. And where you stop, God, we will stop. And when you move again, God, we will move. Because, God, we don't want to go except you go. We don't want to move except you move. We don't want to go except you go. And we don't want to move except you move. I must 
hand. Save you with me. For I dare not walk alone. And I must feel his presence near me and his arms around me thrown. Then my soul shall fear no ill. Let him lead me where he will. I will go without a murmur and his footsteps follow still. I'm pressing on the upward way. You heights I'm gaining, I'm gaining, I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, 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 plant my feet. On high, your grace. I want to live above the world. Those Satan stars at me are hell. I said, I'm saying with God, I'm saying with God, I'm saying with God, I'm saying with God, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying with God, I'm saying, I'm staying with God. Lord, lift me up. by faith on table and shake say I play then I have failed Lord play me play me play me play me play me So hide me under your blood, Lord, hide me under your, my, 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 hide me under your, my God, my God, Lord, hide me under And everybody say, hide me under your blood, Lord, hide me under your blood. Say it again, say, hide me under your blood, Lord, hide me under your blood. Come on, open your mouth and say, hide me under your blood, Lord, hide me under your blood. And I shall be satisfied. Somebody open your mouth and say, hide me, God. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, say, hide me, God. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't be cute. Somebody say, hide me, God. Hide me, God. Hide me, God. Hide me. I'm getting ready to call Minister Courtney, but listen. Last week, Bishop, I was... I was getting ready to sing at a church, Bishop. Adrian was there. And I stood up on the altar to begin to minister, Pastor Janice. And I couldn't start singing. I just started praying. I started praying. 
And I started praying, and the more I, stepped, I, I kept on praying, I recognized I was praying for the children. I was praying for the youth of the church. And I said, I want every mother in this building to begin to weep over your children. Begin to cover your children. Because I sensed in my belly that the enemy had released an assignment against the children of that house. And I began to pray, and I began to cover. And I remember I said, come on, tell God, cover, 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 cover. I was supposed to sing 45 minutes later. I couldn't sing. I was walking through the church telling parents to begin to cover your children. I remember a woman walked out and she fell in front of me. I've never spoken to this woman before. I said, your kid's in Jamaica. And she rolled over. And I called a young man at the back. I said, come here, come here, come here, come here. I said, lift up your hands and shout no weapon. I said, lift up your hands, young man, and shout no weapon. And when he said, I said, I bind every prison spirit that surrounds you. I bind every prison spirit. I, I did not know that the young man was just released out of prison. But God said to cover the children. I began to cover some more. And I opened up my mouth and I said, not another one. Not another one. Not another one. Somebody shout, not another one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Open up your mouth in this room and shout, not another one. By the time I got home, minister, the pastor called me and said, Minister, you were flowing with the Holy Ghost today. Before we left church, we got a call that one of the young men from the church was rushed to the emergency with a respiratory problem. He can't breathe. When I shouted, not another one, I was made to understand that the woman, the mother of that boy, had three sons that were murdered in Jamaica and that was her last son left. I'm here to tell somebody, you better begin to cover your children because the enemy has released an assignment over your sons, over your daughters. I know that we are pressed for time, but I need about five mothers in this room, five mothers in this room to open up your mouth and begin to cover your children because there has been an assignment released over your seed. An assignment has been released over. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. You better begin to cover. I said, you better, oh, you're playing games, you're playing cute. I said, 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 you're playing cute. The same mother that didn't want to shout. I walked down to her and I said, come, come I'm about to hand over the Bible. Let me see the hands of the mothers in the building. Oh, mothers, 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 mothers. Oh, mothers, 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 mothers. There's an assignment in your belly. There's an assignment in your mouth. There's an assignment in your hands. Musicians, tell me. I want every mother in this room to lay your hands on your belly. Lay your hands upon your mouth and begin to release a covering over your seed right now. That no weapon formed. Are oh, you playing games? You're playing games. No weapon formed against your seed. I, oh, come, my God, my God, my God, my God. Do I have any mothers on the side that knows how to war in the realms of the spirit? We cover. We cover. We cover. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Somebody's out covered. Somebody's out covered. Somebody shout covered. Somebody cover. Shout covered. Shout covered. Shout covered. Shout covered. Jordan, come here. Jordan, come here. Somebody shout covered. Somebody shout. Somebody shout covered. Jordan, come. Jordan, come. Somebody shout covered. 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 Somebody shout covered. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Jordan, Jordan, come. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon. No weapon, no way. My, 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 my. No weapon, no weapon. I said, no weapon. Point your hands toward him and say, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I curse you. Oh, devil. Every assignment against his destiny. Every assignment against his mind. Every assignment against his spirit. I rise up. This day in the Holy Ghost 
to tell the serpent, no, no, blood, sword, fire. I release him to be great. I release him to prosper. I release him to mount up with wings like an eagle. I prophesy over his life that death will not locate him. Poverty will not locate him. I curse premature death in the name of Jesus. I curse it from the root. I bind it from the root. Ah, somebody shall no weapon. Oh my God, you're playing games, you're playing games. I said no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. No, my, 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 my. Every devil, every devil that has. Uh, the Holy Spirit just dropped this in my spirit that the enemy is waiting Sister Carol and praying on our kids waiting Sister Odette for an opportunity to move in but we stand in the oil of this house I, I know we are pressed for time I need about five people five people in this room that knows what I'm talking about to begin that to declare no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon i cover him i cover him i cover his destiny i cover his destiny i will uh, live to see him prosper i will uh, live to see him great i will uh, live to see him mount up somebody shout covered 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 somebody shout covered somebody shout Oh, 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 Joe, oh, my God, Joe, Joe, come, Joe, Joe, come. So, oh, my God, my God, my God. My, somebody's out covered. Somebody's out covered. Somebody's out covered. Somebody's out. Somebody's out the blood of Jesus. Somebody's out the blood of Jesus. Somebody's out the blood of Jesus. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus. I said the blood of Jesus. I said the blood of Jesus. I said the blood of Jesus. Every target against the first family. Every target against the man of God. Every target against the woman of God. Every target against Nicole. Every target against Colden. Every target against Jordan. Every target against Jojo. Every target against the fire. Against Alyssa. Against Vlad. Against Ethan. Against Simone. Against Leon. Against Yannick. Against LJ. I blood it up. I blood it up. I blood it up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We declare war. We declare war. We declare war. I said war. I said war. Oh, y'all playing games? Open up your mouth and tell the devil no. Open up your hands. Point towards the man of God and tell that devil you can't touch him. You can't. Oh my God, my God, piece of the pain. I said you can't touch him. I said you can't touch him. I said you can't touch him. I said you cannot. Blood, 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 blood. Blood, 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 blood. Blood, 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 blood. Blood, 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 blood. Somebody shout blood. Somebody shout blood. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Minister Courtney can get ready to come listen. There are battles that the man of God is fighting and the woman of God is fighting 
battles that were supposed to take us out and he can't take us out because he's praying and covering us and sometimes we not we sometimes we forget to pray for the man of God but I want every hand in this room to lift up towards the first family and begin to cover the musicians are about to play one more time oh agent I want you to give me a prophetic sound I want you to give me a warfare sound because I sense in my belly that the enemy is trying to declare war against this family against his household but today in the name of Jesus release a prophetic sound to begin to break every plan that the enemy recover Courtney recover her husband recover her destiny recover come on come on come on recover Akima recover Leo recover Kyle recover Sharika everyone recover Janisha recover Jerry recover Uncle John recover sister Rose under the blood we come on, we come on, we come on. not forget to lift up the man of God and his family. There are battles that you made it through because he was praying at two, three o'clock in the morning when we were sleeping. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? And Sister Henry, there are assignments that were supposed to take us out. But because he was praying in the balance, standing between hell and and, 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 and and heaven we're still here today before minister Courtney comes let's lift your hands one more time towards the family of God and one thing I've learned in my lifetime is when I cover someone else I cover my family when I release the blood over someone else that same coverage come over, my, come over my house. And when I'm excited and celebrate someone else, I too get delivered. Amen. Lift your hands towards the man of God and say, you are covered. You are covered. You are covered. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go ahead and just lift up a praise one more time as you take your seat this morning. We bless the name of the Lord. We magnify our God. For there is a sweet anointing in this place. An anointing of victory to break every yoke and every shackle befallen this morning. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. A blessed good afternoon to everyone. Before I begin, I want to greet our bishop, Bishop Dr. Mervyn Hardin. First Lady Harding, her absence, past the calendar, mother calendar, all the leaders, all the deacons, all the officers, all the members, all the visitors, those in the house, those virtually, we greet you this morning and we welcome you to Grace Deliverance Tabernacle Church of God. Amen. 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 So this, this afternoon in the house is a very special afternoon because we have set it aside to celebrate our graduates. Amen. So if you are a part of the ceremony, I'm going to ask you to please meet Sister Alyssa in the back. If you're not already in the back, but you are scheduled to be a part of the ceremony, please meet Sister Alyssa in the back. Amen? Amen. We know last year we were not able 
to meet in the sanctuary to celebrate those who graduated in 2020. But we are so fortunate this year by the grace of God that we are back in the sanctuary to celebrate the success of our children, our young adults, and our adults. Amen? Amen, amen. They have accomplished something. They have set their eyes on something and they have accomplished it. And we, the family at Grace and the leadership, everyone is so excited to celebrate them. Amen? Amen. I've been a part of a few of these ceremonies and it was always good to celebrate twice. I had a graduation in school, then I had a graduation in church. And we have faithfully kept with this tradition because we want our graduates to know that we are proud of them. We want our graduates to know that it is not only when things go bad that we talk about them, but when things go good, we celebrate them. When things go good, we want the whole world to know that they are a product of Grace Deliverance Tabernacle. So this morning... I'm going to ask everyone to stand. Everyone's going to stand, turn to the back as we welcome our 2020 and 2021 graduates. Amen. Go ahead, Brother Leo. Amen. Keep clapping for them. <laughs> Amen. They're doing it twice. They didn't get to do it last year, so they're doing it again this year. They're going to come back in. <laughs> And have a seat in the first two rows. Go ahead and clap for them. They didn't have the opportunity last year, so they get to do it twice this year. It's all right. They're going to come around. Just clap and celebrate them as they come. Amen, 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 amen. I'm going to ask everyone to sit except for the graduates. Everyone besides the graduates sit. Now go ahead and give them a round of applause. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. And we are ranging this year from the stepping up all the way to college graduates. Look what the Lord has done. Amen, 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 amen. So before I hand over to Pastor Calendar, who is going to give out the awards this year, I want to invite Sister Trishana to come, and she's just going to share a few words with the church and encourage the graduates. Amen? So give Sister Trishana a round of applause for me. afternoon. Bishop Mervyn Hardin, Pastor Calendar, parents, congregation, and fellow graduates, good afternoon. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you today to encourage the graduates and to thank the parents and well-wishers for all their support. First and foremost, we want to thank God for bringing us through a rough and challenging year. We can all agree that 2020, and to a lesser extent, 2021, has been a rough year for many of us. From remote learning, wearing masks, social distance from friends we really want to hug, and pressures from teachers to turn the cameras on. At times, it seems as if we had more homework to do while in person than while in person. We also got away at times with not responding 
because we were able to mute ourselves. And at times, we had to be with bad internet connections. We also had to learn how to operate Google Classroom or Zoom. It was a rough year, but graduates, we made it. Today we can... Today we can stand before you, the congregation, as proud graduates of 2020 and 2021 because of the grace of God. We want to thank you, parents, for never giving up on us and for being our biggest supporter. We want to thank you for making sure that we had the necessary resources that aided our success. We want to thank God for giving you the strength. Even though at times you may not have understood the task given to us, you all encourage us and help us to believe in ourselves. Today we salute you, and as we make you proud, we thank you. To my graduates, I want you to know that this is just the beginning of our journey. We conquered through 2020 and 2021, and with God by our side, we will overcome any other obstacles along our way. I encourage you not to let go of God, but to make sure you place him first in your life. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 states, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God is able to see the end from the beginning, and he has a purpose for each of our lives. We may not understand it right now, but as the years go by, he will definitely reveal it to us. At times you may feel like giving up, but don't give up. Continue to push because God is never going to leave you. He said in his word that he's never going to leave you nor forsake you. Remember the promises he has made to you to give you a hope and a future. At times you may not know what direction to take, but remember his promise in Psalms 32 verse 8. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. From my own experience, I can say that at times I had no clue what was the next step or what God wanted me to do. But I know that he showed me and he helped me. I want you to remember that God will bring the opportunities and the right people in your life that will help you to go on the path that he wants for your life. Do not rush the process, but just trust the process. For my college graduates, the world is your oyster. And what that means is that you can achieve anything you wish in life or go anywhere because you have the opportunity and the ability to do so. And as long as we have God, we can conquer this world. Everything is open to us. And as Bishop will say, we have to get up and go for what we want. There are times that we will wait on God, but other times we have to get up and go and search for that dream or opportunity. Do not be afraid of failures or obstacles because they will make us stronger. We are humans and we will make mistakes, but do not stay in the failure. Pick yourself up and continue to try again. No matter how long it may take you, your purpose will come to pass. And all the roadblocks that are set in your way, you will be able to overcome them. We may end up at different places in this world fulfilling our purpose, but keep focused on your purpose and let God continue to write your story. Congratulations and continue to strive for excellence. Amen. Thank you, Sister Trishana, for those encouraging words to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep fighting. School is not always easy. For some people, they, get, they breeze through it. For others, they have to fight through it. But no matter what, just keep going. Amen? Amen. So at this time, I want to invite our associate pastor. I want to invite our associate pastor, Pastor Lionel Callender, Mother Callender, to come and to join Bishop. And we are going to present to you this year the Grace Deliverance Tabernacle 2020 and 21, 2021 graduates. just graduated. Thank you so much, Dr. Courtney. 
I greet you this afternoon in the name of our Lord Jesus, and uh, I am indeed thrilled and delighted to have the opportunity to be a part of this exercise. You are looking today when you look at me as Adam, a young man, well, I'm not a young man anymore, at a person who came from practically nowhere. But by the grace of God and the opportunity uh, to receive a good education, I have been able to make something out of life. I give God thanks for that today. I cannot say enough, and therefore if not enough, can't say too much about the value of a good education. If I am anything today other than by the grace of God, it is because, like I say again, I had the opportunity to receive a good education. My task and responsibility today is to call our graduates and uh, have them receive their acknowledgement from the family here at Grace. We cannot do too much uh, when it comes to recognizing. You have heard me say in years past, when your children do well, it is your responsibility to brag about it. Because you know something? If they don't do well, who's going to talk about it? Everybody else. Everybody else is going to have something to say if your children don't do well. And nobody will be unaware of the fact that your child did not do well. So when they do well, stand on the housetop and shout about it. Celebrate it. Declare it for all the world to hear. That your son, your daughter... Your grandson, your granddaughter has done well, has been able to accomplish something. Amen? I have said all of that, let me abuse the opportunity that I have and make mention of a graduate uh, that I did not take the responsibility to have his name submitted. My grandson, Ethan. Not your grandson, Ethan. My grandson, Ethan, for all the challenges that he faced. This year, graduated from the Onondaga Community College with his associate's degree. Thank God for that much. Many were the challenges, but thank God. You know, I was a little disappointed that because of covid I did not have the opportunity to be there in person. But upon reflection, I am very glad that I wasn't there. Because I was sitting in the privacy and comfort of my own house, and still I wasn't able to see the ceremony. I had it up on the screen before me, but such was the emotional response, I could not see clearly. Uh, that was months ago, and still now, I am not able to see clearly. You see, when you know what the journey has been, when you know what the obstacles were in the way, you can have a much deeper appreciation of the end. But I'm going to ask my lady, my wife, to come with me now as we begin the process of handing out these awards and these gifts. Uh, I will go in the order that I'm given. I have Kylie, did I get the name right? Kylie Morgan, who is stepping up. And uh, that is for 2020. Uh, I, I, if I understand correctly what that means, it means that this one who is being recognized today started school last year and stepped up from daycare to kindergarten. We want to... Recognize her today. Now, let me see if I get this one right. That was Kylie. This would be Kaylee. Then we have a Kaylee Morgan who is also stepping up this year.
Jonas McAllister from pre-K to kindergarten. Our first we have today, our graduate needs to be brought up to receive his gift. Eva Chanel Daly. Is Eva here? Okay. Eva Chanel Daly is going from kindergarten, no, from pre-K to kindergarten. Madison Martin. Madison Martin going from kindergarten to first grade. in the blaze from kindergarten to first grade. Jordan McAllister, from the fifth grade to the sixth grade. That was for 2020. I guess now it would be correct to say he's going from the sixth grade to the seventh grade. Jordan McAllister. Gabrielle Clark, from the fifth grade to the sixth grade. Zachary Graham. <laughs> Moving up from the fifth grade to middle school. Joshua Graham. Moving up from the sixth grade to high school. Jaheem Daly, graduating high school, moving on to college. me say this, brethren, today we celebrate, I'm not finished with the list, but let me say this now. Today we celebrate them. This does not end our responsibility to them. Make it your business, your purpose to cover them constantly, continually in prayer. Uh, make it your business constantly to reach out to them, 
just to double check, make sure that all is doing well. As we celebrate in the day, we don't want to come some tomorrow and mourn their loss to the kingdom of darkness. There are hours. There are hours to keep. There are hours to raise up for the kingdom and the glory of God. Let us commit. Would you promise me that? That you will commit yourself today to being part of the effort to see that these young people grow up and go on to be to the praise and the glory and to be of benefit and blessing to the kingdom of God. You know, so often it is the case that we have them when we need to change their pampers, when we need to feed them with the bottle, when we need to cross them across the street. And as soon as they're able to stand on their own two feet, we have lost them. And, and, and we tend then to blame them for running away. I never pause to contemplate the fact that it might have been the case that we cut them loose. Let us not cut them loose. Let us add additional ropes and ties and chains. Ah, let's cover them with our prayer. Okay, promise me that you'll do that. Our college graduates, Naomi Henry, Naomi R. Henry, to be precise. Graduate in Brooklyn College of her Bachelor of Arts degree in Business Administration. Shauna Brishet Daly, graduating your college with a Bachelor of Arts degree in accounting. I, I'm gonna. ago in, in this graduates recognition service we introduced a new award it was called then the solid rock award and uh, that was presented to an individual who has distinguished himself herself in faithful service here in the ministry uh, just let me Add this to it, that it is for a graduate. This is done to recognize graduates because, you know, the first time we presented it, somebody thought it should have gone somewhere else to somebody who was not even a graduate, who at that stage of the game was old enough to be the grandfather, if not the great-grandfather of a graduate. And uh, it is done to honor the memory of a man, very special to me, who in his lifetime could be noted for hard work and service to others. It is my particular pride and privilege today to present this award from my family for the year 2020 to my friend, I, I, I would not call him by my popular name for him anymore because that person just recently died. Uh, but when I was a boy growing up in Barbados, chances are that if you saw a picture in the newspaper, it was taken by this man. And we have seen this young man here around the church at a time when others his age are looking to get in trouble or making mischief uh, actively engage in our video ministry. It is my particular pleasure, Jordan McAllister, if you would come. Uh, 
Uh, I'll ask you to stay here for a moment. That was for 2020. Uh, uh, Jordan, Jordan, just hold on up here for a moment. And for the year 2021, Naomi R. Henry. If you notice, today, when the other graduates were already in place over there, she was not because she was over here with Brother Ian uh, working at something. We want... Just stand with Sister Naomi since there are two of you this year representing the two years. Uh, could you stand over there so you get a picture together? Uh, it is just a small monetary award but it is given to appreciate the fact and to let you know that your unnoticed work is being noticed thank you So there is one more thing that we want to do before Bishop comes and prays for the graduates. I actually took a look at the calendar today. It's August 1st. Today would have been the late First Lady Harding's birthday. And she was such an example, such an example to follow and to emulate. And this year at Grace Deliverance Tabernacle, we wanted to introduce a new award. It's called the Follow Me Award. And this award is for someone who exhibits great leadership skills. The Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. And this person is a person that emulates Christ in everything that they do, in their dedication, in their commitment to the ministry, and just living a life that is pleasing unto God. And a few weeks ago, some of our graduates, they had a, a, talent, a drum talent show, and they all had one thing in common. They said that this one person was the person that inspired them to go into drumming. And this is also a person that has inspired me in ministry just with their dedication and their commitment and their words of encouragement and just always being there, going above and beyond. This is a person that I myself want to follow. And I remember when we were discussing the award, I was like, they make me want to work harder so that I can one day receive this award. Brother Adrian, come here. were functioning at full capacity, a regular schedule, there'd be many Tuesday nights when it would just be you, me, and Simone here just praying, and 
you are such an example to the body of Christ, to the young people, to the older people, to everyone in this ministry, both in this ministry and outside. There is never a time where your name is called and anything negative has to be said about your name. So we want to present you with the first ever Follow Me Award. Amen? Because your life, the lifestyle that you live. You gotta make me cry. It's such an exemplary one. You're always so positive, always with the words of encouragement. And our young boys and our young girls, they look up to you and they respect you. So we want you to know that we look up to you and we respect you and we love you and we appreciate you and we want to thank you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! So we're giving you your flowers now while you're still here. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. I'm gonna ask all the graduates to come to the front for me. All the graduates, come to the front for me. We're gonna take a final picture. I'm gonna hand back over it to Bishop. But children of God, I can tell you growing up in the ministry from a little girl, they look up to you, they watch you, they see the things that you do, they know your names, they know your shout, they know your moves. We all ought to strive to be examples to each and every single one, whether young or old, amen? So as you live your life each and every day, be the example that some little girl, some little boy needs. Be the example that some new convert needs. Be the example that someone that has been in ministry for 30 years, but it's struggling needs. Be the example. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Amen? Amen. Before I hand over to Bishop, there are two, there are two, little, there are two graduates that I do want to acknowledge. They weren't here. It wasn't their fault. They weren't on the... They weren't a part of the roster, but Josiah, Josiah, are you here? Josiah stepped up. Amen. He's going to run to the front. Come, Josiah. He stepped up. That is Sister Georgia's son. He stepped up. Clap him as he come, guys. He's going to kindergarten. Yeah, I might, he's going to kindergarten. Amen. Come, Josiah. And Chloe. Kobe's also going to kindergarten, amen? And she's here today, so we want to acknowledge them. Amen. Amen. So at this time, I present to you our... I'm going to present to you our bishop, but just clap them one, one more time. Clap them one more time. A job well done. A job well done. Amen. So at this time, I hand over to the shepherd of the house, Bishop Dr. Mervyn Harding. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Dr. Courtney. Go ahead and get excited because it's a great day. It's a day of excitement in the house of the Lord. It's a day in which we have a, a whole lot to give thanks for, a whole lot to celebrate for, a whole lot to, uh, to rejoice for. So just go ahead and let's celebrate our children. Let's go ahead and give God thanks for our children. Amen. That they have accomplished, they have accomplished, they have come through and they are now ready for the next level. Oh, that somebody will shout next level next level next level ah they are ready they are ready they are ready for the next level and we celebrate with them today we rejoice with them and we give god thanks for their accomplishment oh glory to god we truly want to thank dr courtney pastor kalinda mother kalinda and all those who are laboring and work with them amen to help make this day such a great success once again we 
applaud them. We want to thank the parents, amen, who work uh, so hard with them, preparing them, amen, for this day and for this point. And we want to thank them also for coming out, amen, today to support our graduates. Welcome, welcome to one and all to the house at Grace, amen. We worship God for today. I'm going to pray a prayer over our children and then we'll run quickly into the word and get out of here. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you that thou art our refuge and our strength, thou art our very present help in any kinds of trouble. We thank you for our children. We thank you, God, that you have kept them, you have carried them, you have defended them, you have delivered them from the dark elements of evil, from the dark elements of principalities and powers. You have brought them to this point in their life. But oh God, realize that the journey is not yet over. The journey continues. So we ask of thee today, by your anointing and by your power, by your spirit God, and by your blood that you will continue to surround them. You will continue to watch over them. You will continue to uplift and strengthen. Bless them in their going out and their coming in. Oh God, I pray that you will continue to order their footsteps in your word and in your way. Uh, you will lead them into the path of life, uh, the path of righteousness, and the path of holiness. Uh, Almighty God, we lift up prayers and open fire uh, and surround them now and defend them and deliver them uh, from the dark elements of principalities uh, and powers, every demons uh, and devils who is eyeing them uh, and watching them and monitoring them. Uh, we attack now, we rebuke now, we charge now, we blood up now, we confound now. We defeat and destroy by the anointing and by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood of Jesus. Father, we cover the parents. Pray that you'll continue to open doors. You'll continue to strengthen and continue to bless and give victory, God, unto the parents, the membership of this house, each and every one today on social media, wherever your people may be. We interrupt now every assignment of principalities and powers. We interrupt up every kind of sack on the rubber. We pray in the mist, we pray in the elements, we pray in the firmament, we pray in the heavens, we break in and conferences, we break in and altars, we break in. Almighty oh, God, and disrupt and disturb and defeat and destroy the dark elements of evil. Oh God, I pronounce a divine blessing upon your people today that there will be a mighty move, oh God. By your spirit and by your blood. We pray and we ask it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to congratulate Brother Jordan and Brother Adrian. Amen. And each and every one today. Amen. And their accomplishments is to Naomi and everybody today. Amen. We want to congratulate and applaud all our children. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. We want to thank Minister Odin and the praise team for leading us. Amen. In such great, 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 great praise and worship in the house of the Lord. Our musicians, our technicians, amen, the ushers, uh, the visitors, the worshipers to each and every one today. We say welcome to the house of grace. Amen, amen, amen. What a good time to be in the house of the Lord. What a good time to be in his presence. It is the place where the psalmist said, in his presence, there is fullness, there is fullness. You don't have to settle for just a little bit. You don't have to settle for just some. You can get the fullness. You can get all of it. You can take all of it for in his presence. There is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So today, I pronounce and I release and I prophesy. And I declare and decree over your life the fullness, the fullness, the fullness. Oh, that today you will receive the fullness and you will walk in the fullness. You will manifest in the fullness. Of Jesus, you will not leave here today with any less, but you will leave. Hey, hey, 
that somebody would show glory. That somebody would shine that about Shaq with the rubber. That somebody would shout, hey, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready for the fullness. I'm open up for the fullness. I got room for the fullness. My, hey, my dad is here for my fullness and I will receive all of it by a truly anointing. And through the power of the Holy Ghost, as somebody said, mercy drops around us. Mercy drops around us are falling. But today we are moving past mercy drops. We are moving past mercy drops. We are moving into the showers. We are moving into the fullness. We are moving into the abundance. We are moving into all that which God has in store for us today by and through the power of the holy ghost by and through the blood of jesus hallelujah hallelujah isaiah chapter 61 the 61st chapter in the book of isaiah glory to god and reading at verse one and it reads us the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn in Zion, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified, and they shall build the old waste. We shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the way cities. The desolations of many generations and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your wine, your wine dressers. But he shall be named the priest of the Lord. And men shall call you the ministers of God. He shall eat the riches of the Gentiles and their glory shall in their glory shall he boast yourselves for your shame he shall he shall have double and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess a double everlasting joy shall be unto them the word of the Lord they are blessed and they are yea and amen. Uh, we are in the eighth month, the eighth month of the year 2021. Uh, we are in the month of August. Uh, and we give God thanks today for this first Sunday in August. It's a day of history, amen, in the ministry here at Grace. Uh, it was 24 years ago, amen. It was the first Sunday in August uh, when the first service was held uh, at Grace Deliverance. Uh, church of God when the ministry was launched and it was 16 years ago and the first Sunday in August when God moved us into this building into this space and it was the first day of August 61 years ago when my children mother was born amen so today is a day of great history and a day of great memories amen and we celebrate the day and we give God thanks for the day. Uh, my mother's children are gone on to be with the Lord in glory. Amen. But footprints have been left and the sands of time. And I could not pass this day without mentioning her because she has sown and sowed an abundance in this ministry at Grace Deliverance. Amen. Lay the foundation that many of us today can inherit uh, that which has been sown. Yes, the Bible said one sow and another reap and she has sown and we are reaping today and we say to God be the glory in the month of August in the month of August we have a word we have a word we have a new word for the month of August and the new word is the prophetic move the prophetic move 
of God, the prophetic move of God. And I do believe that God is ready to move. And I do believe that God is looking for a people that he can move with and move up and move through and move out of some things and move past some things and move above some things. So if there is anybody in this house today who have been praying and looking for a prophetic move, the Lord said to tell you that your day has come. Is there anybody on social media or in Radio Land who have been praying for a prophetic move of God in your life and in your family? When I hear the Holy Ghost said, your day has come. Your day has come. Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. For there's a spirit in the earth. There's a spirit in the earth that is moving and moving and moving in a mighty way and moving out devils and moving in angels and moving out assignments and devices and moving in deliverance and victory and moving in breakthrough and freedom and I stand in this house today because the spirit of the Lord God is upon me and the Lord has anointed me. Oh glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, to preach to preach. I want somebody to know today uh, that there is a because to my coming in the house. Uh, there is a because to my standing in this pulpit. Uh, there is a because to my praise. Uh, there is a because to my worship. Uh, there is a because to my shout. Uh, there is a because to my song. Uh, uh, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because I didn't come on my own. <laughs> I am sent by the Lord. <laughs> I did not anoint myself. <laughs> the Lord anointed me. <laughs> the Lord gave me his spirit. <laughs> oh, that somebody will go ahead <laughs> and worship him today. <laughs> Who knows that you've got another spirit like Caleb. <laughs> oh, glory to God. <laughs> ah, the world that we live in <laughs> is a world of spirits. <laughs> it's a world that is filled <laughs> with all kinds of spirits but thanks be to God today uh, that we got uh, another spirit uh, that is not of the world uh, another spirit uh, that is not of the devil uh, another spirit uh, that is a spirit of victory uh, the spirit of triumph uh, the spirit of conquer uh, the spirit of deliverance uh, and breakthrough and freedom uh, oh the Bible said uh, uh, there were many among Caleb uh, and many around Caleb but the Bible said that Caleb oh has a because hey Caleb has a because Caleb has another spirit oh glory to God I stop by today to prophesy to prophesy to preach to decree and to declare and to lead you into another spirit to lead you away from the spirit of your father the spirit of your mother the spirit of your family the spirit of your district the spirit of your town the spirit of your city from your own spirit I stand by to lead you away and to lead you into the spirit of God the spirit that is above and beyond the spirit that moves us to the next level oh glory to God oh hallelujah in this month of August in this prophetic move month God is ready to move us to the next level are you ready for your next level are you ready for your next level our God said I have for you another level I have for you another level if the furnace has been heated oh seven times after it has been heated because I am ready to move you to your next level are the things that have been holding you back and holding you down and setting you back God said in this move in this move those things will move off those things will move out those things will move away your things will move in your things will move upon your things will take over oh glory to God in this prophetic move our demons and devils will be confounded confused defeated and destroyed are in this prophetic move God is up to something great God is up to something
something wonderful. God is up to things that we have never seen or experienced before. It's a new move. It's a new move. It's a prophetic move. It's a move from heaven. It's a move in glory. It's a move in the realm. It's a move in the supernatural by the anointing and by the power. I move generational curse of you. I move ancestor spirit of you. I move struggles of you. I move hardship of you. I move repre- oppression and depression and frustration of you. I move witchcraft assignments of you. I liberate and lose and set you free. I put something new upon you. I put something new. I release something new upon you today. Our God has given me something new. Oh, something new. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because, because He wants to give you something new. Because He wants to move you to the next level. Because He wants to anoint you with fresh oil. Because He wants to deliver you from all evil. Because He wants to lead you into the path of righteousness. Ah, we did not just come here today just like that. We came, Reverend Jenny's, because we came because God desired to meet with us. God desired to take some things of us and to put some new things upon us. Oh, glory to God. Under the prophetic anointing, I remove generational curse of you. Under the prophetic anointing, I remove a sorrow of you. I remove depression. Every spirit that has been assigned to set you back, to hold you back, to hold you down, to tie up your future. I rebuke it off today. I blood it off today. I curse it off today. I set fire upon it today because the Lord has because the Lord has anointed me to take it off you. The Lord has anointed me to rebuke it off you. The Lord has anointed Abusha to open fire upon assignment and devices, upon demons and devils because the Lord has anointed me to destroy every chain, to destroy every shackle, to destroy every assignment, to destroy every plot, to destroy every plan, to destroy every power. Because the Lord has anointed me to break into your prison, to destroy your chains and your shackles, to lead you out and to set you free. There's a prophecy. There's a prophecy that is above and beyond because I saw in a room I saw some folks in a room were saying some things about you Sister Carol I saw some folks in a room and they were making some pronunciations and some decorations what should have become of your life and what should have become of your future but you are here in the house today and you are stronger now you are more anointed now to show that the Lord is good, to show that the Lord is upright, to show that the power works, to show that there's a because to your life, or you are here today because divine purpose is connected to your life, and because divine purpose is connected to your life, no weapon form against you shall prosper, and every time that rangal of shack on the rabakaya every tongue that rides up in judgment has already been condemned because there is a because to your oil there's a because to your anointing there's a because to your calling there's a because 
not in your faith and no demons no devils can I will I shall because because and this is what I'm hearing <laughs> Is what I'm hearing, Sister Nicole. There are many people in this room who should not have been here today. There are many people who assignments were set and devices were plotted and arrangements were made. And folks sat and wait for the telephone to ring to get their party going, to get their celebration going, to rejoice that their plot has worked, that their devices has worked. But you are here today. You are here today because here is a because. Because here is a because. Oh, glory to God. I hear you. You are here because there is a because. When the heathen waited for Israel to go under, when the heathen waited for Israel to be defeated, and when they look, when they look, and they saw Israel mounting up with wings like eagles. They saw Israel's head lifted up above them. They said, because the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done. The Lord has done great things for them. We are up here glad. And somebody went back. Somebody went back to the goddess. And told the goddess that the plot didn't work. The plan didn't work. She is still alive. And the goddess said, Brother Samuel, the goddess said that because the plot didn't work, because the plot didn't work, it's not because my power is not good, because my power work on others, my power worked before, my power is still working, but where she is concerned, where he is concerned, there is a because to her life, there is a because to his life, I cannot handle him. I cannot touch him. I cannot move him because there is a because. Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Because she's carrying a different spirit. She's carrying an excellent spirit. She's carrying fire. She's carrying power. She's carrying oil. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, glory to God. I work but it's not working I try but it's not working because the Lord has the Lord has the Lord has anointed the Lord has anointed touch not the Lord's anointed and do my prophet no harm because the Lord anointed himself. The Lord poured the oil himself. The Lord deliver himself. The Lord redeem himself. The Lord bless himself. The Lord preserve himself for he is the preserver of our soul and the hope of our glory. Hey, somebody go ahead and shout hallelujah. Uh, somebody go ahead and shout glory. You need no other argument. You need no other plea. You need not to look over your shoulder. You need not to worry about who is hearing. The Holy Ghost said go ahead and preach. By the Lord has anointed you to preach. Go ahead and shout. By the Lord has anointed you to shout. Mother Cunningham, you don't have to worry. Uh, you don't have to worry about who is listening to you on the radio. Go ahead and do what God called you to do. Go ahead and declare what God called you to declare. Uh, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord has put a because uh, to your calling, a uh, because to your name. The Bible said the Lord has anointed, anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. If God anoints you to preach, preach the tidings, preach the deliverance, preach the breakthrough, preach the victory, preach the peace, preach the hope, preach the salvation, preach the devil out of town, preach demons into hell, preach and set captives free by the anointing and by the power. The Bible 
The Bible said in St. Mark chapter 9 that there was a father. There was a father who had a son and something was upon his son. I said something was upon his son. And the something that was upon his son, the Bible called it a spirit. The Bible said a dumb spirit, a dumb spirit was upon his son. And the spirit would have rent him. And the spirit would have cast him into the water. And the spirit would have cast him into the fire. And the spirit would have caused him to cry. Ah, the spirit was in operation. The spirit was moving upon him all his life. Ah, Jesus came along. And Jesus ah, saw the father. The father said to Jesus, Master, if you can do anything, ah, help me, help me, help me. If you can do anything, ah, help me. Let's stop right there. Let's get rid of the if. Let's get rid of the if. It's not if he can do anything. Don't come with any if. Don't come with any question. Don't come with any doubt. Don't come with any fear or unbelief. It's not if God can do anything. But Jesus said, I can. What do you mean if I? I can do all things. I can do all things. If you can only believe. If you can only believe. It will happen. It will come to pass. Oh, glory to God. The man was a believer. The man was a believer. The man was a member. The man said, Lord, I believe. That was what he said to Jesus. I believe. I am in church. I'm singing in the choir. I am in church. I'm an usher. I am in church. I'm among the officers. I am in church for a long time. But now I see where my problem is. I am struggling with some unbelief. Even though I am a believer. But I'm struggling with some unbelief. So the father said, Lord. Lord, help thou my unbelief. Help thou my unbelief. Help me to move to the next level of belief. Help me to believe you. Help me to take you at your words. Help me to trust you. Oh, so that when I kneel down and pray, I don't get up back and carry the burden on, but I leave it right there. Lord, help thou my unbelief. I don't pray, but go to bed crying and fretting I pray and leave it at the feet of Jesus by the Bible, the Bible, the Bible the Bible said casting all our cares upon him because he careth, he careth he careth for us he careth for us we are carrying the book we are carrying the book all the problems that we have is in the book all our trouble is in the book all our situation is in the book all all our sleepless nights is in the book. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. The Bible said, cast it away. Throw it away. Get rid of it. Get it away from you. Casting all your cares. You don't have to go and take time and put it down. He said, throw it away. Cast it away. Get rid of it. Get it off you. Somebody, get it off, get it off, get it off me, get it off me, get it off me, I blow it off me, I rebuke it off me, I attack it off me, I set fire, elabo shak on the rapper, elabo saha, ah, by the anointing and by the power of the Holy Ghost, ah, get, 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 get it off, get. Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! In the name of Jesus, get the shop. Loose me! Loose me! Release me! Release me! Get your hands off me! Get your assignment off me! Get your plot off me! Get your devices off me! Get your viper off me! Loose me! I 
a deaf. The Bible said, two spirit, two spirit specifically was controlling his destiny and his life. The Bible said, a deaf and a dumb, a deaf and a dumb spirit was up on him. A deaf and a dumb spirit was up on him. A stew spirit I muted him. But Jesus came along. I said Jesus came. I wish I had time to preach in this house. To preach to social media. To preach in radio land. Because demons and devils and principalities and powers. A minister Odin knows that there's a because to Jesus. There's a because to his anointing. There's a because to his purpose. There's a because to his coming. Oh, glory to God. Jesus rebuked the spirits. Jesus rebuked the spirits. And the Bible said when he rebuked the spirits, the spirit rent him and threw him to the ground. He wallowed on the ground. The spirit cried out. The spirit felt the fire. The spirit felt the anointing. The spirit felt the blood. The spirit cried out and said, Brother Sammy, this anointing that we carry, this anointing that we carry, this oil that we carry, this fire that we carry, we carry it because God has anointed us to reverse things. God has anointed us to cancel things. God has anointed us to destroy things. God has anointed us to end cycles. God has anointed us to reverse generational curse. God has anointed us to defeat ancestor spirits. God has anointed us to destroy the bars of prison, the bonds of prison. God has anointed us to enter into, into restricted areas, into control areas, into occupied territories. God has anointed us to enter in and kick over table and burn up altar and blood up banner and confound assignments. Hey, I said there is a because to our anointing. There's a because to the power. Shall come upon us. We shall receive power and we shall. It's prophetic. It's prophetic. There will be a prophetic move when the Holy Ghost has come upon us. There will be a prophetic move, a prophetic power, a prophetic fire, a prophetic anointing. A glory to God. We shall be baptized with. The Holy Ghost and with fire and with fire and with fire and the Bible said the spirit cried out for Jesus for Jesus reversed this cycle for Jesus turned it around for Jesus change it and I hear the Holy Ghost say the crime will no longer be in your house but the crime will be the house of your enemies the crime will be in the house of your enemies I say the crime I prophesy I decree and declare that the crime will no longer be in your house all the days of the young man's life Mother Cunningham he was crying and cutting himself in the fire in the water but the Bible the Bible, the Bible, the Bible said Jesus took the crying of the man, Jesus took the crying of the boy, and Jesus placed the crying and the demons, Jesus placed the fire and the demons, Jesus placed the blood and the demons. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible said the demons were no crying, they were no crying out. Oh, I hear the Holy Ghost said the day of the affliction of your haters, the day of the affliction of your enemies. The day of the affliction of your demisers has come. When they will see your glory. They will see your prosperity. They will see your promotion. And they will cry. They will cry. And cry again. Because the Lord has anointed them. Tell somebody. Tell somebody. No more bad news. Tell somebody no more bad news. 
No more bad news. Prophesy, decree, declare it. All the bad news is over. All the bad news is over. No more bad news. Hear what the word said. Hear what the word said. The preaching is to change the news. The preaching is to change the news. I better call them the preaching is to change the news. No more bad news. The preaching is to change the news. No more turn down. No more disappointment. The preaching is to change the news. No more let down. The preaching is to change the news. The, the anointing is to change the news. Or the power is to change the news. The call the spirit is to change the news no more disappointment the news the news will be changed he has anointed me to preach good tidings of good oh glory to God good news to the oppressed good news to the afflicted good news to the sick oh minister Oden, no longer will you be sick no longer will you be hurting the news has been changed. Oh, that somebody will go ahead and shout up in this place and shout out of your belly and shandala boshakone and rabondi ekata elabo sababa. I feel something up in here. I feel a move, a move, a move, a move. It's a prophetic move. It's a move in healing. Cancer has been healed. Diabetes has been healed. High blood pressure. It's been healed. Coronavirus. Delta virus. Whatever virus. A move is on. A move is on. A lupus. An asthma. All kinds of sickness and disease. There's a mighty move against sickness. A mighty move against diseases. I was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised. For our iniquity, by his stripes, we are healed. The stripes is in the house. The stripe is in the city. The stripe is in the town. The healing stripe. The miracle work. The miracle work in stripe. The anointing stripe. Hey, 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 hey. There is a elabosha. Hey, glory. The resurrection power stripes. All the stripes is in the house. Bye, 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 bye. Hotel sickness. Bye, 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 bye. Tell disease. Bye, 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 bye. Tell depression. Bye, 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 bye. Tell oppression. Bye, 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 bye. Tell emptiness and loneliness. Bye, 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 bye. By his stripes. By his stripes, we are healed. For he has sent me. He has sent me. I am under command. I am commissioned. I am sent with a specific assignment. I am sent with a specific assignment and a specific journey to a, pe a specific people, to a specific house. I am sent to bind up the broken. I am sent, ah, I am sent to bind up the broken hearted. I am sent to put back hearts that are broken back together. Hearts broken up because of failing marriage. Heart broken up uh, because uh, of all kinds of circumstances uh, and situation. He has sent me to bind up uh, the broken hearted, uh, to preach uh, and to proclaim uh, freedom, uh, deliverance uh, uh, to the captives, uh, to open up the prison uh, to them that are bound, uh, to take them out. Uh, for I am on special assignment. Uh, he gave me the keys. Uh, to all the locks, to open up every prison, to take every prisoner out, to set every oppressed free, to set captives free. I prophesy, I prophesy, I decree and declare over your life today. I am at your prison, I am at your prison door, I am entering your prison. I come for your mind, I come for your spirit, I come for your soul, I come for your future. I come to restore your joy. I come to restore your happiness. I come to get rid of your past. I come to get rid of your hurt. 
strength. I come to release a fresh oil, a fresh healing, and fresh deliverance in your prison today. Oh, glory to God. Say bye, 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 bye. Bye to your prison. Bye to your prison. Bye to your prisoners. Bye to your water. Bye to your captains. Bye to your rulers. Bye, 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 bye. I'm going to tell somebody. I tell your rulers, you are going home. Tell your captain, you are going out. You are going out. I tell principalities and powers. I'm going home today. I'm leaving my prison today. I'm leaving my depression today. I'm leaving my frustration. I'm leaving my confusion. I'm leaving my dark cell. I'm returning to home. I'm returning to life. I'm returning to light. I'm returning to joy. And speak and full of glory oh glory to God there is a proclamation there is a proclamation to proclaim to the captive the year of the Lord to the day of vengeance of our God the comfort all that morning Zion the day of vengeance has come when God is pushing back when God is blooding back when God is attacking and rebuking back to appoint them oh I got an appointment for you I got an appointment for you. God gave me an appointment for you. God has anointed me and sent me to you with an appointment of deliverance, an appointment of breakthrough, an appointment of increase, an appointment in favor, an appointment in prosperity, an appointment in breakthrough, an appointment in turning around, an appointment into green pastures and besides still waters. I got an appointment for you. Receive your appointment today. Your appointment to be loose. Your appointment to be delivered from ancestor spirits. Inherited disease. An appointment today that will clear you of all charges. An appointment that will disconnect. An appointment that will disconnect you from your past and connect you to your future. Oh, glory to God. I release you. Your appointment today. But God knows that things, things work through and by appointment. So your day of appointment has come. And thanks be to God that we have an appointment. We have an appointment. And our appointment is to be delivered. Our appointment is to be comforted. Our appointment is to be healed. To a point, to a point, to a point. Uh, to a point. Uh, glory to God unto them that mourn in Zion. Uh, to give. Uh, to give unto the mourners. Oh, glory to God. To comfort the mourners. To a point. Uh, those that mourn in Zion. Oh, glory to God. To give unto them uh, beauty for ashes. Ah, Sister Simone, in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back. You stand up in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back. Stand up right there. I hear the Holy Ghost said. I hear the Holy Ghost said you have been burnt and burnt and burnt. And you have been burnt many times. You have felt the heat and you have felt the hurt and you have felt the fire. You have been burnt to ash. But I hear the Holy Ghost. I hear the Holy Ghost. I hear the Holy Ghost said, clear the ashes, clear the ashes, clear the ashes. I hear the Holy Ghost said, clear the ashes. Uh, somebody, somebody help me clear the ashes. Uh, I hear the Holy Ghost said, clear the ashes. Uh, for God said, I'm about to rebuild the fire. Uh, I'm about to rebuild the fire. Uh, clear the ashes, clear the ashes, clear the ashes. Uh, I'm about to rebuild the fire. Uh, I'm about to rebuild a greater glory, a greater fire, with a greater anointing, with a greater oil. Uh, I am about to rebuild a greater fire. Uh, a fire of beauty. Uh, a fire of promotion. Uh, a fire with fresh oil, a fire in deliverance, a fire that will take you to your next level God said, God said, God said I am clearing the ashes and I'm replacing it with beauty I am giving you beauty for your ashes oh glory to God I am giving you a makeover a Holy Ghost makeover a Zion makeover a Pentecostal makeover and people shall call you blessed people shall call you the ministers and priests of the Lord, our people shall call you, oh Zionites, oh that somebody, go ahead and give him praise.
praise that somebody will go ahead and give him worship and give him glory on the day of our point. Lord said he has seen the tears in the pillow. The Lord said he has seen the tears in the pillow. The tears are false accusation. The tears are false blame. Oh, the, 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 the tears of rejection. The tears of hurt. God said, I have seen, I have seen, I have seen the heirs, ah, but I've sent, I've sent, I've sent one to Zion uh, to give appointment to them uh, that morn, uh, to give them beauty for their ashes. God is taking the ashes and God is restoring and God is recreating and redesigning. Oh, glory to God and making something beautiful out of our lives the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness a mighty move a mighty move has come uh, to the house the spirit of heaviness has left the house the garment of heaviness has left the house because we have changed the garment we have taken off the garment the garment of reproach the garment of hurt the garment of sorrow, the garments of let down, the garments of disappointment, the garments of sleepless night, the garments of troubled waters. God said, I'm changing your garment. I'm changing your garment. Oh, somebody just go ahead and release and let go the garment of hurt and the garment of disappointment and the garment of sorrow and the garment. Oh, somebody just go ahead and it off. Our God said, I'm changing your garments for no longer, no longer will you be a broken vessel. No longer will you be a broken picture. Our God said, I'm giving, remaking, I'm remolding your vessel and turning your vessel into a beautiful vessel. Oh, new vessel, new vessel. Oh, somebody shout, new vessel. New vessel with new oil. New vessel with new anointing. New vessel with new fire. New vessel with new glory. New vessel with new power. New vessel with new destiny. New vessel with a brand new future. A new vessel for I got me a brand new appointment. Appointment. Appointments, the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. From here on, from here on, from here on, you will be wearing a praise. From here on, you will be wearing a praise. You will be wearing a praise. From here on, <laughs> glory to God, you will be wearing, <laughs> you will be wearing a praise. I remember, <laughs> I remember uh, when my children's mother was alive, uh, one year, <laughs> I bought her a ring, a rock, and it was a lot of money <laughs> for the rock. And <laughs> I remember when Samuel's sister saw her <laughs> with it on her finger, <laughs> and the sister said, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> if I was the one wearing that rock, <laughs> my hand would always be in the ear here in church. She said my hand would always be waving in church. Not waving praise to God but showing off her rock. She said her hand would always be up showing off her rock. I say that to say this today that God has given you greater than the rock and the finger. God has given you a garment of praise for you to show it off. For you to show it off. Are you, I wish I had time to preach in this house. I am a <laughs> yeah! Glory, 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 glory! I got my garment, I got my garment, I got my garment, I got my garment of praise, I got my garment of shouting, I got my garment of singing, I got my garment of worship, I got my garment of freedom, I got my garment of deliverance. Oh, I got my garment. It is white and clean. Oh, glory to God. It is washed in the blood. It is sanctified and holy. I got my garment. 
was the psalmist David who had his garment and he said my praise my praise he said I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth in my mouth his praise shall continually be in my mouth uh, sister Sonia Powell sister Sonia Powell I hear the Holy Ghost said God is visiting your demisers God is visiting your demisers God is visiting your demisers I hear the Holy Ghost said uh, uh, vengeance is mine let me close this because I got to close I hear the Holy Ghost said vengeance is mine and I will God said vengeance is mine and I will I hear the Lord say to tell him tell him I hear the Lord said to tell him I hear the Lord say to tell him that there are some bills that is due uh, some bills he said vengeance is mine I will repay and some folks payment day has come some folks who mess with you some folks who try to stop you some folks who plotted against you I hear the Lord said their payment day has come it's payment day our God said vengeance is mine and I will repay repayment day Tell God repay no. Tell God repay no. For the bill is due to be paid. Oh, that's somebody. The bill is due to be paid. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible. Say God anointed Jehu and send him to Jezebel. To Jezreel, to Jezebel house. Because Jezebel bill was due. Oh, by the Bible prophesied. And said the dog shall eat her in the streets of Jezreel. The day of payment was due. Uh, yeah, you went to Jezreel uh, and they tossed her down in the street. Uh, the dogs ate her in the street. Uh, I hear the Holy Ghost say, Payment day! Elijah prophesied that the dogs would eat her in the streets of Jezreel. Many years pass and nothing happened. Many years pass and she continued to carry out her prostitution ring. Read the Bible. The Bible said she had a prostitution ring. Read the Bible. The Bible said she has a witchcraft ring. Read the Bible. She has 450 prophets of the Baal and 400 prophets of the grove. She was the mother of witchcraft. She was the mother of evil. The Bible said of all the kings that reign over Israel, her husband tapped them all because he joined forces with Jezebel to devise a wickedness. Uh, they conspired and they lied upon the man of God, Nabat, and they killed Nabat. They stoned him to death. And the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. Give me two more minutes. Let me tell you the story. The Bible. The Bible. The Word of God. They are prophetic. They lied on the man of God. Set up conspiracy against him. I stoned him. But God took record. <laughs> and God keep record. The Bible said the word of God went out. The dogs as my servant was stoned in the street. And his blood run in the street. So your blood will run in the street. And the dog shall eat you in the street of Jezreel. Uh, Pastor Kalinda, poor dogs. Poor dogs. Dogs that didn't do Jezebel anything, she decided to kill all dogs. That from here on, no dogs must leave. And no dog must be in Jezreel. And no dogs must be around. And no dogs must be in Israel. Because there's a prophecy that dog is going to eat her. But glory to God. I said glory to God. 
one day when God anointed J.U. and sent him to Jezreel with a J.U. ride, a J.U. anointing, a J.U. because when he got into Jezreel, the Bible says she painted her face, she tied her head, she was well dressed. A J.U. said to them, up dear her God, take her and toss her down in the street. When she was tossed in the street, Sister Michelle, a dog came running from all over a pit bull a all station all kinds of dog I just came running nobody knew where the dogs came from but dogs was coming from every direction from every angle ate her up quickly I swallowed her up quickly but prophecy must be fulfilled upon the wicked doesn't matter how high they climb how strong they may be how great they may be God said about there is a prophetic moment in this month there's a prophetic move in this month of oh, glory to God but God knows where Jezebel live and God knows where the dogs live and God just sound an alarm and the dogs heard the alarm and said it's Jezebel day. Somebody said it's Jezebel day. Somebody said it's Jezebel Shabbat. Yeah. Somebody said it's Jezebel. Oh. Yes, an alarm went out in Jezreel that it was Jezebel's day. It was Jezebel's day. And the dogs heard the word and came rushing into Jezreel from all over. Ate her up. Give me one more minute. Let me finish the story. Sister Alison. The Bible said. The Bible said that Jezebel. That Jezebel used her hand. And wrote a letter. She wrote a letter of conspiracy. A letter of lies. Against the man of God. A letter of lies. Against Naboth. A letter of lies. Of conspiracy. And he, she wrote the letter. With her hands. And sealed the letter. And sent it out. And set up false witnesses. Against Naboth. Oh that somebody would come to know the God that we serve. And the Bible. The Bible. The Bible said. Reverend Haley. The Bible said. Brother Colin. When the dogs. When the dogs ate her in Jezreel. The dogs ate every part of her body. The only part of her body that was not eaten was the palm of her hand. The palm of her hand. The, 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 the palm of her hand was so cursed that the dog would not touch the palm. The palm was left as a weakness. The palm was left as an evidence that God will judge the wicked and God will judge evil and God will judge and the misers that God will judge. Oh, my God, my God. Oh, my God, my God. God told the dog, don't touch the palm. For the palm must be there as a memorial. To show that the word of God is true. And that God is just and upright in all, in all, in all his ways. I say to you today, fret not yourself because of evildoers. Fret, no, lose no sleep against those who are conspiring against you and the job. Those who are plotting devices and working against you. Those who are working to mash up your marriage and your relationship. Your relationship. Lose no sleep over them. For God has the dogs ready. I said the dogs are ready. I hear it. The month of August is the prophetic move. The prophetic, the prophetic, the prophetic. Ha, 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 ha. Hey! 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 
it's the prophetic move it's the prophetic move oh glory to god god has the dogs
little bit from the Bronx. You, you from the Bronx. Yes, you, you, yes, you from the Bronx. You from the Bronx. I hear the Holy Ghost said, God is moving in your house right now. <laughs> And God is moving against some assignments and God is moving against some situations and God is moving against some plots because I hear God said I have released favors in the heavens I have released favors in the heavens for you and I hear I hear I hear I hear the Lord said I hear the Lord said he will make he will make your enemies a memorial a memorial a memorial anybody know what a memorial is the place where Je Jezebel was killed became a memorial the story became a memorial and God said those who plot devices against you, God said I will make a memorial and you will know it you will know it, you will know it for I hear God said I am moving in favor, I am cleaning up some things, I am delivering I'm releasing hear me and hear me well hear me and hear me well I'm a real prophet. I'm a real prophet. I'm no counterfeit prophet. I'm a real prophet. But I, I don't go around and use the gift of prophecy to make money or to get money. I use the gift of prophecy to bring deliverance to people. When I preach, I don't preach for money. When I go on the radio, I don't beg for money because I'm not there for that. I'm there to bring deliverance. I'm there to bind up the broken heart and to set at liberty those that are bound and to set the captives free. And for those who were in the house and only as night in 2019, when we did not yet know anything about any pandemic I prophesied right in this house that God said to cover ourselves because something was about to hit the land God said cover ourselves because something was about to hit the land and my daughter Nicole uh, she told me that the night when she came to my office uh, before I preached uh, and she looked at my face uh, and she said my face have a troubling look uh, she said when she looked at me, I had a troubling look because I knew what the Lord told me that something was about to hit the land. And the Lord said, Many people would have died, but we should enter into our closet and shut the door in our chambers and cover ourselves until the indignation is overpassed. God sent the pandemic. With the hope that man would have repented. With the hope that you would have gotten the attention of man. And that man would have turned from their wicked ways. But rather than man turning, man got worse. And the Lord said to tell the nations and tell the land that the worst is yet to come. The worst is yet to come. The worst is yet to come. Because God said I cannot heal if man does not repent. I cannot stop the plague if man does not repent and turn. But the Bible said if I send pestilence and plagues. If I shut up heaven. That it, there be no rain. And if I send the locusts upon the land. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. And turn from their wicked ways and seek my faith. Then will I heal. But God said I cannot not heal and I cannot stop the plague until people turn and repent. The Lord God Jehovah said the worst. You see, I don't preach I don't preach and promote gift of prophecy because I'm not looking money from people. I'm looking to give people deliverance. That's what I'm looking to do, to give people deliverance. Glory to God. To give people deliverance. I have defraud no man. I have defraud no man. Search the city inside out, upside down. Nobody can tell you that this bishop robbed them. Nobody, 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 nobody. Nobody can tell you this bishop borrowed their money and didn't pay them back. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Nobody, I'm a real prophet of God. The Bible said the wicked borrow and pay it not again. I cannot join the wicked. 
If I borrow, I got to pay back. It may take a while, but I'm still going to pay back because that's what the Bible said we should do. We should do. The worst. The worst. The worst is yet to come. God said, continue to cover yourself. Continue to cover yourself. Glory to God. We got to close. We got to close. Is there anybody with a special request in the house today? You know, when I stood up, I said, you know, the time is gone. I'm just going to preach like 15 minutes and we're going to close and go home today. That's what I had in mind and that's what I plan to do. But the Holy Ghost has something different in store because there's a move, a move, a move. And you will not leave here the way you came. You're going home today in a different place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Any special request anywhere? Amen. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just, just come quickly. Meet me at the altar. Meet me at the altar. Come quickly. Come quickly. Those with special needs or special requests, meet me at the altar. We are going to pray and then we are going to collect our day's tithes and offering and we will be out of here. Amen. We, we understand we had the graduation today and it was necessary. Amen. So we may be in the house a little longer than we plan, than we plan to stay, but God is good and God and God is faithful and God and God and God. And God, and God, and God. Young lady, look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Where's your mother? Your mother is back there. Your mother is back there. Call her, call her, call her. Oh, yeah, that's you. Okay, she's coming. Glory, glory, glory. That's what, this, that's what the Holy Spirit tells me. That's what the Holy Spirit tells me that your mother needs to be in there. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's your daughter? That's your mother. Okay. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost, your mother needs to be here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here, I hear the Holy Ghost. I hear the Holy Ghost said, I have to end the cycle today. I have to end the cycle. Because there was a declaration, there was a declaration made over grandma, over grandma, over grandma, that he should follow her children and all her children's children. But today we end the cycle, we end the cycle. Stretch your hand towards them. We end the cycle today with blood and the cycle, with blood and the cycle. That the things that happen to grandma, great grandma, will not happen to you and your mother. Because we end it here today, we end it here today, we end it here today. You all will not experience the same struggles, you all will not die from the same disease. You all will not suffer through the same things. But today we blow the cycle. We rebuke the cycle. We end the cycle. We open fire upon the cycle by the anointing and by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood of Jesus. We destroy the assignments. Oh, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Every assignment that tie up marital glory. We blood it up. We blood it up. Every assignment that fail relationships. We blood it up and set fire upon it every assignment of struggles and hardship our young woman we blood it today we release you into your future we release you into your glory we release into your blessing for the anointing that destroy the yoke and the assignments and destroy the black magic and the witchcraft for God said he has anointed me to send the labo shak on Shaka at 